Welcome to the Epic Florida Podcast. Hello everyone and welcome to this very first episode of the Epic Florida Podcast. We are part of the Epic Shows, as you can probably see behind us. We've got a few podcasts in it. Um, this is the first podcast of this one. So with me, I've got my wonderful and fantastic assistant, Mr. Phil Gard. Assistant? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, hello, Miss Debbie McGee. <laughs> <laughs> no, he actually he is my host, but uh, co-host. But I had to say assistant because I wanted to wind him up. So that's what we do. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome, Phil. How are you doing, mate? I'm doing great, mate. Um on countdown to some secret in September, hopefully. And people know it's not Orlando or anything like that, but it's a secret. Yeah. And yeah. It, we'll, see. we'll see, we'll see. Uh, yeah, so uh, on this month, we're going to go monthly. We've decided we're going to go monthly now um, because obviously there's not that much happening in the world of Florida at the moment except for coronavirus and COVID-19 and whatever bollocks you want to call it. So... Um, we're not really going to go week bi-weekly yet. We will do, but at the moment, there's just not enough stuff out there for to really go that. So we're going to go monthly at the moment. So on this month, we're going to talk about the recent events that have happened with the Universal Parks, things that are happening in the world of Florida, a little bit of sport news. And for you YouTubers, um, we are going to watch a video from Halloween Horror Nights from last year that I recorded. So we'll start... I'll go, before you say anything, yeah, people, what he was saying about a video we recorded, if you're listening to podcast only, you're not going to have that. You're going to have to go to the Epic Show's YouTube page, mm. what's tefpod at gmail.com yeah. anyway. But go there, and that portion of the show will be on there as well. Um, if you want, we'll time stamp it on YouTube. So you, if you don't want to hear the whole thing again, you can go straight to that and watch that bit. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do we'll do our best. Don't forget, this is our first ever one, so we're still learning. So, uh, yeah, so we'll start off. What we've got, I've got my little notes here. Um, Someone asked them. I don't know. Well, we're super fe- professional, aren't we? So we'll start off with the bad news. Um, as you probably know, we're we're a bit behind everyone, but we all know that Halloween Horror Nights has officially been cancelled for 2020. And well, not I'm going to not I'm not going to say cancelled. Postponed till next year. Fingers crossed. You know, so, postponed a week after our flights got cancelled. Just saying, power. Yeah, uh, well, that just leaves us on. Well, I'm a, we knew it was coming. Um, I think it's the best decision to do because uh, a lot of people will be disappointed by not being able to go. Plus, um, the money it's cost. They're just going to lose thousands upon, well, maybe millions if they went ahead with that event. So personally, I think it's a it's a good thing. It's the right decision to make under the circumstances. Uh, but that leads us on to the next few items we've got with um, the park levels, the park, the actual crowds at the park at the moment. Yeah, They're it's disappointing, isn't it? Really, they. Yeah. I've noticed on Saturday they seem to hold well, but yeah. obviously a lot of people are off at work. Nothing better to do. I know Volcano Bay was at full capacity the last two weeks on the weekend. Um, so Volcano Bay's doing well, but I know a lot of the water parks like Disney's ain't open. Yeah. Uh, well, if you go... I am, I have been looking through Facebook and Twitter today, and I'm going to timestamp this now. It's a sad, it's, This is a Sunday we recorded, and the park was absolutely ran this morning. It, they had queues down mid towards I-4 get into the car park so yes yeah, so it's a sign that pe- sorry that type another way in didn't they i've noticed that yeah well that that, that way is always open so that people never never actually use it is the way you go in towards um cabana bay you go around towards that oh. way and you can go around um but obviously this today's been really busy um but exactly. for the rest of the week it's really really quiet so with that, that leads us on to the next bit of... Uh, Can you get any further? I know you don't like talking about it much. How's the mousetrap doing? Is that pottering in? Uh, I've heard it's 
Well, if you if, if you believe Facebook, Facebook says it's quiet. If you believe Twitter, Twitter says it's busy. So I don't know. It's the car parks mm-hmm. don't look full. They're not using all the car parks. The bus services are not up and running properly yet. I don't think. Um, I think you've also got three hotels being used by the NBA. So they're full, but the rest of them are not. So take it as it is. There's not really much we can do with the mouse. So, but um, talk about hotels as well. Kind of with Segway City today, aren't we? Um, the oh. hotels, Universal, Aventura, and Sapphire Falls closing. Yep, the joining dockside and is it um, top of my tongue? Portofino Bay. I suppose I always get them. Um, some, yeah, always get that one mixed up. Yeah, so they're so, already they were. One didn't even you know, open, what's a travesty because um people would have known if they listened to a podcast we used to do, I was going to stay at it. So yeah. in May, but never came ahead. And the hotel's not gonna be open. And I don't think Dockside's gonna even be opened any time this year. No, I think I, think, I, I personally think Dockside's shut now till next year. I think yeah. they're all going to be shut till next year, to be honest. I think Aventura, Sapphire Falls and Dockside are going to be shut for the foreseeable future. Um, I, dare I say it, Surfside stays shut. I have no, Surfside down. is open. But I, I, think I don't think they're all shut. No, no, it's their cheapest one. So right, they've yeah. got an option for every level. They've got Surfside, Cabana Bay, Hard Rock and, um, oh God. Royal Pacific, isn't it? <laughs> yes. call it the boat. Well, I thought I'll let, I'll let you do it yourself, but yeah, 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 Royal Pacific. So, but what I've heard officially from Lulz, not Universal or Lulz, whatever, you, however you want to say it, um, they said if you've got uh, vac- uh, packages for Aventura and Sapphire Falls, you will be upgraded to Royal Pacific and the Hard Rock, and you'll receive the perks from them two hotels. But, is the but, I have heard on Twitter and Facebook and other places that if you bought it from a third party, you're being downgraded to Cabana Bay. So, um, is that Sapphire Falls? Maybe it's a downgrade if you're at Aventura. Hmm. I think it's an upgrade. Aventura to me. I know, but, uh, but, 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 but you've some people... There. Yeah, but what I'm saying you is, going off the official, officially from Lowe's, they're upgrading you. But what I've noticed is people who bought it from a third party i.e. in the UK Travel Republic or anyone like that, they are moving you to uh, Cabana Bay. So, if you're because, listening to Cabana guys, if you've never been before, because Cabana Bay is awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, I was supposed to be staying there this year uh, for the first time. And I was looking forward to it, but can't do that, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Three times, I think. So I, I liked it a lot. Yeah. So um, we'll move on to... Oh, you move more. on to another thing. Yeah. Do we want to explain to people what we didn't write down? What's happened to our annual passes? Well, we could. Do, we'll do this, but we'll do it with a, a disclaimer because it's not going to happen to it's, everyone. Yeah, you can't guarantee it's what's going to happen. Yeah, because I've heard some people say they've had those cancelled and restarting when they do. But thing is, I have got a three park annual pass. Same it. Yeah. So. This pass I paid for in January this year, and Same obviously I won't, I won't be able to use it. So I've renewed it, and I contacted Universal saying, I'm not going to be able to use my pass. What can I do? And they very graciously cancelled my annual pass before you all start jumping onto Twitter and going, oh, they cancelled your pass. What they've done, they've, they've, they've cancelled my pass from now, and I can... <coughs> excuse me. When I go back oh, to... <laughs> When I go back to Universal, whenever that is, they've opened up a, I think they said it's, it's, it's a case file or whatever it's called. I just go there with this number and my pass will be reactivated from that date for 12 months. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <I guess. laughs> I've got my mask when it's popping, everyone. <laughs> I've actually got a really cool mask. I'll find it in a minute for a while. If you see me disappear off screen, that's because I'm going to go and find the cool mask. Yeah. Um, I pretty much got exactly the same deal as you, except I got 15 months. Yeah, because you had, you were due your 15 months anyway, weren't you? Because you yeah. renewed in the t- when you did yours. I'm sorry, my, I'm a new man in Jan- December, not January. That's why I missed yeah, out. I, 
I renewed mine in the period when they were given three months extra to anybody who renewed in that period. Yeah, which so I, I, I wasn't. Um, I didn't moan about, you know, I know people saying, but why didn't you get the three months extra from when it was shut? Well, because I haven't lost anything, guys, because well, when I go back, I'm fine. Yeah. I've got well, technically, I, technically I have, because mine was supposed to expire in March. So uh, even though I paid for it in January, it was supposed to be uh, expired in in March and it got removed to whenever. Yeah, well, yeah, So how it. did you get yours done? Uh, I just did mine through Messenger. And oh, really? I did mine on Skype on a phone call. So people, there's two options there. Either way, if yeah. you don't mind waiting for people to message back on Messenger or if you've got Skype, put a fiver on there and then the call will be about, I think, 5p per minute. Um, you ring, it's quite cool to hear the American voice, hear the minions in the background. So that makes it yeah. a bit funny. It's, it's a, the closest I've got to Universal this year. So I enjoy it. I might just start ringing the hotels just to talk to people, pretend I'm there. Yeah. Well, like I say, we'd say it as a disclaimer, it's not going to be the same for everyone. Because um, you even say that, that they're going to do it by case by case basis. I need to cough again. So but once... don't leave it, people. Um, he's muting himself because he's about to cough. Yeah, so I'm going to say don't leave it until the very last second. Do it now. Get it out of the way. If you're from a country who can't physically get there, you know, get hold of them. They fully understand what's going on and they don't want to lose customers. Um, they're no. brilliant. I've seen different things about the, the uh, mouse trap, but we won't go too much into that because I have not got a pass for the mouse trap. So. I can't physically say what's really going on there. I can only go by what we've done with Universal. Yeah. So um, options are out there. Uh, I believe if you've also got the the photo pass, that's been extended for the three months during the closure as well. That's good. So um, my photo pass is actually valid now till for this September and next September when I'm supposed to go in. So I've got a two-year one, and it's I want to use the year of it. So... Yes. Um, we're going to stick with more. It's a bit more like a universal podcast this today, isn't it? It's our, uh, it's our first one, people. We well, are, as we said, we're going to talk about everywhere in Florida at some point. Yeah. I am looking into Miami. This man has been to Miami before. We do want to talk places like that. We yeah. will talk. For four hours. Four hours, people. Four Not hours. Long, four already. hours. I drove there and drove back. Don't do it. It's stupid. Uh, but what will. A uh, bit more sad news is. Uh, the big one, which was na- mainly the main set for this name of this podcast, to be honest. Um, Epic Universe has been foreseeable, uh, postponed for the foreseeable future, should we say. Um, that's what it looks like it's going to be doing. We're not going to get Epic Universe, I'd say, till possibly 2025 at the earliest. Um, all, I think, I believe all construction stopped. We've got no host, no co-host at the moment. Um, right. should... <laughs> like, seriously, look at this mask, mate. Isn't it awesome? Look, the mummy's there. Oh yeah. You have to send me the link for the send me the link for that woman's SD. Uh, no, SD you got the yes, I will. The SD uh, SD was it on Instagram? We'll link it in the description yeah. anyway. So, um, but yeah, uh, Epic Universe has been. Um, Temporarily postponed, and they believe that some of the lands that were supposed to go in there are being moved over to um, Universal and Islands of Adventure. Maybe the yeah. biggest one being Super Mario, uh, it's Nintendo not work. Land. It's not work. Yeah. Too small, waste of time. But the plans I'm were for the, yeah, but the original plans were for one ride where the kids' zone is. Uh, the Mario Kart ride and that was the original plan and everyone was happy for it um, we never knew what lands were coming at Epic Universe so I think it's a plus if we're losing Kid Zone it's a plus oh. for losing Kid Zone but it's a negative because what you've seen has been built in Japan and what could have been but if you if you, if you lose you because a lot of people don't realise when you go into Kid Zone take E.T. out of the equation leave E.T. where it is no. Uh, no, I know, but I'm just saying, if you leave the ET building where it is, and you go back round, we have to walk all the way round there for Halloween Horror Nights. There's nothing stopping them going down that far because that Fivel's Playland goes back quite a bit. Then you've got the 
what is not house coaster, which is a really good coaster actually. If you get rid of the animal show as well, it becomes a very yeah. big event. Like, that's what I was saying. You take that whole area, yeah. you've got a big, big footprint to put stuff in because Barney is quite a big. It's, it's, I know it's only a little show, but then you've got the uh, the walk, the splash area. You've got that ball pit place. You take all that whole area. I think they've, they've got enough room to put a decent sized land in there. I'd say it's bigger than Spring. I'd say it's bigger than Springfield. Oh, if you look at it footprint, I suppose Springfield. Yeah, again, if you knock down the ride, you could put a yeah. hell of a lot there. So that's what I'm that saying. Ride, so the ride line actually takes a hell of a lot of place up in Springfield. Yeah. So if you think about when if they knock everything down and put it there, we'll just have to wait and see. So on to some. Well, anything else you want to mention about that? Anything from you? Um, I don't know what, what, what a little bit of uh, if there's anything you would say you'd want to do to Epic University if they brought it back though, maybe. Uh, well, if they're bringing it back, they need to they need to forget about uh, Fantastic Worlds. I think that needs to. I go. totally agree. Do you know what though? I if if Mary Owen, that's not going to be there, I would think. Look, what does every Universal fan want back? They want Jaws, Back to the Future, correct? Yeah, but they're not going to do a retro park. They're no, gonna... no, no, no. This is where everyone goes wrong. You can't make the exactly same rides. Oh, no, but it still be classed but as a retro can... park. If you're the retro back... can work. They're bringing monsters in. There is a market for the Universal Monsters, and they are epically old. Mm. But the thing is, them. what We've Universal... Like that... yeah, Universal will have to do, look at this the other way around. They're going to have to think, what have we got IP-wise? But well, that's the point of Retro Land. You've got Back to the Future. You've got Jaws. Jaws is not. Jaws is still um, Steven Spielberg. Yeah, but he's so much in with Universal. You can move ET over there. Update that ride. You said you want to put Mario there. Move ET over there. Update it. Get rid of the bit at the end when everyone's on shrooms and drugs. What was obviously the idea was meant to be for a new movie, but if that was going to be the new movie, I oh, thank God it never happened because it would have killed a classic. <laughs> Maybe, but yeah, it's oh, not really yeah, much. Land, straight away, Jaws, Back to the Future ride. Um, as I said, you could do go- something to do with Ghostbusters again. Uh, the, the endless ideas, right? You could bring back the stunt show thing. What was that tram show thing called? We used to sit down, watch it, how it all got set up, and then we got the train afterwards. You remember that? Where um, Fast and Furious used to be. Oh, disaster. Yeah, so you uh, could bring things well, like that. Back. It was earthquake, then it moved to disaster. Yeah, but you all you gotta do is update them. That's what I'm saying. Update you can even move in a a men in black over there because as good as that has mm. been, it is very dated and it's not right for the part. But you can if you make a land what is a retro land, it all makes sense. Yeah, personally I don't think they're gonna do that. If they're gonna do anything, they will build fresh and you bring fresh IPs in, but use the own IP. Well they they've own? got they've got all DreamWorks, Universal Monsters. Uh, they've got a very good relationship with. They've got a very good relationship with Warner Brothers. So there's a few they could use. Uh... Sorry. It depends how Warner Brothers feel. Look how they got with Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, but that, was, that Yeah, but that was that was that was the uh, pissy pants bitch thing. So. I'm not going to mention her name because if I mention her name, we might come up with the subtitles then, and then we might get sued. Because she. <laughs> she <laughs> <laughs> good luck on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can have you can have that, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think they're gonna have to go. They're gonna, they're gonna have to go through their own IPs, I think, just to, just to save on costs, because it's not gonna it's not cheap to build a theme park. And if you've got if, if you start, like sorry, I never understood why it wasn't like that in the first well, place. It it was it was the movies, wasn't it? In the movies uh, at the at the time, Universal weren't probably making that many good movies at the time so they had to get stuff in dare i say it i know it probably will upset you if you're not going to take my retro land if they're going to battle against star wars you put in star trek you could do i don't see why not if that's uh i don't i know they were thinking about a doctor who weren't they so but Problem with Doctor Who, it's a niche audience. Now, I am one of them audience people. I don't like the current stuff. I don't mix the actors. I think it's the poor writing lately. But, um, BBC for you. But... Yeah, well, yeah, everything's going to be BBC now. Everything's got to be a political reason behind it. You just can't have fun. 
anymore. You can't do a little history, but they they make a whole episode about history now. And instead of just like feeding it in, so it's going through your brain, but not thrown in your face. So BBC, if you're listening, I could take your shows. First things first, Council EastEnders. Well, I'm not going to disagree with you because there's enough soaps on TV. Uh, but yeah, um, we'll have to just wait and see. Uh, it's not going to, like I said earlier on. It's not going to be till at least I'd say 2025 before they start breaking ground again. I think properly until we start seeing things actually moving in the oh, no. right direction. I think it depends out there how long this is going to take. I personally don't think international travel is going to be back there this year. No, I don't so, even for Christmas. I think they're going to cut their losses for Christmas as well. Um, sorry Disney fans I don't see your Christmas show going ahead like you expect there may be some sort of Christmas thing but it's going to be nothing to what you've been used to these last God knows how many years um, Universal um, I don't think they really <laughs> care because it's Macy's and I'm like oh, I, don't I don't think they care because Macy's Bloom oh. Show in America what is your fascination with bloody big balloons in the sky I do not understand <laughs> I don't find that interesting I've never done the Macy's thing well even I've been out there for it because I don't care about big bloody balloons looking like a minion's arse mm. well that's that, that, it, it's, it's the American culture that's what they like to do so it's up to them we have we, we do tea and crumpets so we... yeah but that's good <laughs> actually not Sometimes. tea tea or coffee's not good it's crap I like my coffee uh, but yeah we'll just have to wait and see there's nothing we can really do about it so what we'll do now, guys, we'll go for a quick roundup of the local Florida sports teams. So I will pass you over to Phil to give you the update on his sports that he follows. Right, I'm going to be doing MLS and basketball. Um, I don't really follow basketball. I am asking people at work and who are obsessed by it. And if you, anybody, you know who you are, Connor, if you're listening, we don't want to tell anybody how I wound you up saying netball was better and you lost your shit for about five minutes with me about it. <laughs> Went a bit fishing by me at work, but you bit. But so let's get to MLS side. So Orlando City, we know the MLS did the MLS Cup before the season started in Orlando at Disney. So Orlando City started off well, beat into Miami in the first ever derby, had that into Miami. Then they beat New York City, what's always been a rivalry. Um, I'm not going to do the scores, guys, because you can look them up online. They then did a game against Philadelphia in the group stage, one all, but they was already through. Played Montreal in the round of 16, beat them. Now, this is an Orlando City team who's been absolutely cack for about four or five years now, so this was shocking everyone. The big game was against um, Los Angeles FC. Um, the full time it was one all, and... Orlando did win it five form pennies. This is a very big shock. Los Angeles FC are like Liverpool right now in the MLS. They are the daddies who run everything. Semi-finals beat um, Minnesota 3-1. Got to the final and they just didn't have it in them anymore. They lost to Portland, unfortunately, 2-1. Um, on the bright side... Their next game is in the MLS League. And it is the Derby against Inter Miami on Sunday, the 23rd of August. Um, if you wonder how Inter Miami did in this cup, if you're a fan of Inter Miami, you don't want to listen to this bit. But in the cup, Inter Miami started off um, absolutely fantastic. They um, lost to Orlando. They then played Philadelphia, had a man sent off. They lost their last game in it. They played New York City FC and they lost. But basketball, um, I don't know where you are. I don't really want to go through scores again, people. There's so many games. If there was less games, I would do it. But yeah, basketball, guys, they play a game every other three days, it seems. So um, it came back, as far as I can tell, the Nuggets, whoever they are, versus Miami Heat. Heat beat them. The Raptors then beat Heat in a close game. Heat then... Beat the Celtics. Heats then got royally beat by the Bucks. It looks like Heat then lost to the Suns. They lost. Oh, they won a game after that against the Pacers, I believe. Um, they played the Thunders. What was a very close game. They lost 116 to 115. So that was oh, really close. Then the Pacers again. They lost and they got destroyed. 
Um, we then got the Magic, won their first game, then they lost, uh, first game against the Nets, lost, oh, beat the Kings, actually. Then they lost to the Pacers, then they lost to the Raptors, then they lost to the 76ers, then they lost to the Celtics, <laughs> then they lost to the Nets, and then they found a win against the Pelicans. Can I just say, you've got some stupid names in your spots out there. You know, I'm losing all our listeners doing this here in America. But what well, I can understand is they both clinched a position for the playoffs. Um, I believe the Heat have clinched a division place. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I really should have asked Connor before doing this, but he's on holiday now. But um, uh, basketball, pretty right. They're both through. Um, this is, as Simon says, is getting played in Orlando as well at Disney. As you said before, they're sharing now in about five of the hotels. Some of the players have been naughty and being caught going out buying McDonald's. <laughs> we can imagine the naughty going on in there. I bet there's a lot of people in uniforms. I'm not saying what sexuality, or, but I'm sure they've been in and out of a lot of the rooms. Just, to, I'm not saying it's officially happened, guys. It's just a guess of mine. Do not blame it on Simon or anybody else. Just my opinion. There is no way four months. Very young sports people are staying in their rooms and being good boys. Why, why are you bringing me into it? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty it for my sports. Let's go to your two sports. You might go a bit more in depth because you love your American sports. I would do, but I've just done it as like I would do. I, I would advise you to do it this way next time. So I'll go into the bit, the basketball, uh, basketball, baseball. The two teams that I follow <laughs> in Florida. Uh, is Tampa Bay Rays and Miami Marlins. At this moment in time, Tampa Bay Rays are 12 for 9. They won 12, lost 9. They're currently third in the American League East. And the Miami Marlins are 9 and 5. They won 9, lost 5. They are first in the National League East. The reason why they've not got as many games played is because they've had six players uh, contract COVID-19. Ah! They, had to do, they, had, <laughs> they had to delay some of the games. Or positive cases, I believe. So they are currently playing at the moment while we're recording this, and the Rays are beating the Blue Jays three to two, and the Miami Marlins are losing one nil to Atlanta. I think. So let me just quickly double check because I don't want to get shouted at by some idiots on the internet. Someone give me a beer. Yep, Atlanta. So uh, and really, we're coming to the end of the ice hockey season, and the Tampa Bay Lightning is currently in the first round of the Stanley Cup and they are currently at a 2-1 lead against the Columbus Blue Jackets. So, at the moment, all the Florida teams that I follow are doing pretty well. Uh, NFL, I believe, has not started yet, has it? So, Well, the problem with the NFL is so many bloody teams in it. That well, I know, to... the only th- I know there's three in Florida, which are the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Miami Dolphins, uh, there may be some more, so I will look into that more. But the NFL, I don't think the NFL started yet. I, I it, it's tricky. The, the NFL being the biggest sport out there is with the so many teams. It is the trickiest one to get together. I will uh, just talk about NFL. Check now. Talk about NFL, and while you're looking something up, um, other news: former WWE wrestler. Um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's bought the XFL off of Vince McMahon of the WWE. So that's got less teams in it. So if they can't get the NFL going ahead, you've got more chance of getting the XFL going again. Yeah. Also, WWE um, is in Florida. It's been at the Performance Center for a long time in Orlando. Rumor going around they're moving to a stadium as from mid-August for SummerSlam and they're going to stay there with select fans. I presume they're going to be dead of a of can't say the word people dead of a little bit of wrestlers from NXT. <laughs> anyway, we're training. Right. Well, <laughs> but, um, uh, they're moving uh, over to Florida. Yeah, uh, just found out uh, NFL starts on the 11th of September. So one day week. before the Premier League in England. Yeah. So, so yeah, WWE, if there's a chance to go and watch it, people, Heads up, some of you might get a chance to go and watch a bit of WWE wrestling again. That sounds like a plan. So, there's your sports roundup. What we'll do, we'll pop in the video now of uh, watching 
what we said we were going to watch. My, sh- yeah. my, my video from Halloween Horror Nights. What he's saying is if you're on the podcast, yeah. pretty much you're not going to get this video apart. Um, go over to YouTube, to the Epic Shows, and, you know, he'll put it underneath in the, the um, show notes. Go straight yeah. to it and see that part of us still talk, talking away. If you're on the YouTube show, just hang around a few seconds because here it is. Anyway, guys, after that quick little break, we are going to watch a video. Now, um, what we're going to do is going to watch and react to one of the videos that I did from Halloween Horror Nights last year, the um, Halloween Marathon of Mayhem. So I recorded it. The link will be in the description. You actually be able to, should be able to see it. Fingers crossed. So we're both going to start it in a split second. Uh, I'm going to count it down. Three, two, hopefully it'll work. And then we're just going to talk over it and enjoy the thing I have a yeah are we starting on one or after one <laughs> right <laughs> we'll be for a few seconds out we're a few seconds out but yeah. i'll go three two and then when i go right. like that we'll go for it right gotcha okay right i need to do it with the other hand actually <laughs> ready three two Right, well, I think we've started okay, so... Really dark. Yeah, well, it does start off pretty dark, though, doesn't it, so... Let yeah. the mayhem begin. Yes, let really the mayhem voice. begin. Uh, what? Wherever that woman was, perfect voice. Yeah, well, we need to talk over this a little bit, a little bit too much. Um, I know it's a bit of a start of it, but this is where I've got a copyright... Well, I've got a copyright claim on this, so... If I talk over this, we won't get a copyright claim on this, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, obviously, this bit is a bit with the um, water fountains going up with the LED lights for some absolutely yeah. cool music. Yeah, well, it's the bit from Wolfman and the bit from the... Uh, I think it was the guys who did the Wolfman film copyrighted it. So I'm hoping, talking over this, we've actually got rid of it a little bit. So what time are we on now? Yeah, I should miss over it now. We've got over it by now, I think. Yeah, watch out for me. What, don't worry about me dodgy camera work. First time here we were filmed anything. Your video is better than mine, I remember. Yeah. It's it's like, for night. That's a quite good quality I got a picture of it. What the hell? Marathon of Mayhem. Yeah. Is that I tall wish. getting in the way? Well, don't don't worry about that tall guy. You'll be bossing along with him later. He looks like he's got a super long neck. He's got to be an alien. <laughs> It possibly is. People, but... I'm looking down because I'm looking at a tablet, so I'm trying to. I'm, I'm actually I've completely forgot we were being recorded while I'm just bleaching my armpit. Yeah, that's not really about it. <laughs> it's old Frank. Well, it's not really Frank this time, is it? It's actually. I, I wish this was. I wish this was her all time. You think they would have some sort of show through the year, wouldn't you? Not a marathon of Maine, but something celebrating the universal like this. Yeah, you think it would. Excuse me. I think it was at this point we all realised there's something special going on here. You really yeah. Gem. Yeah. When it when it's when when all the young bit started. You know this bit ain't gonna be able to go on the actual podcast because no one knows what the hell we're talking about. Oh, I know, but we'll. Uh... It's have to be for the YouTube show. So, people, oh. if you want a YouTube show, this is a special part for you. Yeah, yeah, you know, off the cut, but yeah, like I said, this is a uh, especially for you, uh, you YouTube viewers, which Get them classic monsters I make. <laughs> I know. So Here we go. Hug everyone has decided to choke itself off his head. Now this is where it starts to properly get good. Oh, killer clowns! I'm not going to lie, the first year they did a scare zone with them, I never even knew about the movie, but one time it was a scare zone, I watched it, thought it was cheesy, but I loved it. Yeah, it definitely was, but it's, 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 it, I tell you what, even though it's like this one of them crap films, you still want to watch it, don't you? Oh yeah, I tell you what, scare zone, miles, miles better than Yeah. That. Well, a lot of people used it as an infant house, something they got it so they could actually get into watching Halloween all night. Yeah. But the, I'll tell you what, though, the masks, the, you look at the video there itself, you can see the masks were just were perfect. I'll tell you what, what they were I, using. I was, if I had money left last year, yeah. I wasn't going to do it this year, I was going to buy a Killer Clown's mask. 
I think they look so good. Did I not see any in the tribute store? I'm sure yeah, they, I, uh, not, I did see this year, last year. And no, really I'm, sure I'm, I'm, I'm sure I've seen a couple floating around in the tribute store. I know they've got the, they definitely got the uh, that staple flash metal one. So, they might still have some left for so we can't get there this year. I just noticed Alien next disappeared from your video. Yeah, I lifted the camera, I think I lifted the camera up here a little bit because he did start getting in the way a little bit. Oh no, he's back again. It's because he's... Look at him! Oh my god, he's, he's, his hair went red there, he's freaking... <laughs> he's an alien. How can the back of his head go? Oh, everyone's an alien. He's freaking tall, mate. He's probably a basketball player or something. Yeah, well, I remember seeing him in it. I didn't notice because I would have caught, obviously, recording it, but well, Julie noticed him. Uh, you'll see it in a bit when he gets... he starts popping like mad and everyone just whoever's seen the video starts laughing I think it's quite funny but he proper gets into it in a bit oh, good on him mate oh, oh my god he's just I think he had yeah, I think he had the one, you know, one in big lanyards you know because last year's lanyards I've got one of the first one quite thick yeah. one so no, do like this music you've got the green screen on no one sees up there <laughs> oh I know Stranger Things, Season 1 great, Season 2 terrible, Season 3 epic. Well, epic. Well, see, yeah, well, Season 4's coming as well, isn't it? So. Apparently that's meant to be mind-blowing. Yeah. I, I still like the rumor? music on this bit. You know that rumour's been flying around that there's going to be a Stranger Things house all year round? I hope they base it on, if they make it big enough, they can make it on two seasons or three four seasons all four seasons yeah if they're going to do it if it's going to be permanent but the thing is how long stranger things are going to be around for because these kids are growing well, up I think my favorite this, bit I starting now sure this, this is my favorite bit so i'm a freak i'm coming good. across the screen and it's big fat me <laughs> come on this I, is some of the best music ever made as well yeah it is It's, it's just, um, I know technology is there, but the, even these water projections are so much better than they used to be. Oh yeah, do you remember the first one, Universal, it was a little yeah. tribute to their movies, it was terrible. Yeah, I actually watched it down there before that was all changed. <laughs> first time you'll ever see me dancing, so don't laugh. Well, you can if you laugh, I don't mind. That's blank, he's back. I wish this bit was longer though. You might actually wonder, was it short because maybe they didn't have the lights and they had a certain amount of time well, they could do Well they just had the Scolari brothers in it, which I don't understand because that's from Ghostbusters 2. I never understood that because they were only doing Ghostbusters 1. So whether it was a sign to say Ghostbusters 2 is coming at some point, I don't know. I don't well, like this bit. We certainly won't know right now, and there goes my dog again. Mm. Here I am. That's Take off Phil. I still don't like this bit when he, when he cries. I don't like this bit. No. You're not fuck to him. Sorry. Okay, because you can't see what I'm doing on the screen. Oh, well, we'll, we'll watch it back eventually. I've got, don't forget, I've got to edit all this. So. I'll tell you what, though, what I, the bit that comes up in a minute, I did not expect it at all. I thought it was the best, it's one of the best bits of it. I can see him bopping, but I don't like this. Oh, yeah, this is where he goes. He, 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 he goes for it big style in a minute. Anyway, mate, you're YouTube famous there, dude. People, he's more on, if you look at the screen, he's more on the left side if you haven't noticed him on the neck yet. Yeah. Oh, you'll see, you don't notice him. <laughs> he goes. <don't. laughs> no, shut up about him. <laughs> <laughs> what? You'd be embarrassing you found out that was me. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely wasn't you, mate. I have to tell yeah, you that. Obviously, it was on the six, uh, 16 stone. Yeah. I love that. I love the water effects, mate. I think they're brilliant. Yeah. Hey, that's when I thought they were brilliant when they started going higher yeah. and everything. It's very so when, when I, I thought that this was near the end. Here we go. 
Yeah, he's bopping away. <laughs> now. It does make me smile, the guy. I don't even know who he is. It's like he's dogging on the spot. Yeah. If, 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 if this is you. But there's someone on the left who's was... bopping as well with a baseball yeah. cap on. Yeah. He's really into it. He's probably a little raver, isn't he? Totally. If you ever watches this, uh, come on, come on to the podcast, mate. I'll have you on. I'll find out why you were bopping so much. Some sort of DJ or something. Mm. Oh, for me, so you. <laughs> yeah, you can't help it, though, can you? <laughs> you want Jimmy, you have to have a little bop. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's epic. And I, I actually, honestly, I thought that this was the finale bit. I thought this is it, done. I think it is near the end. We're on like. It I is. But it's, the when they do this bit. What the wrong? The rewind. That's all. That's it, and then it'll cut straight off. First yeah, time I think you it. For it to end, yeah, I thought it was gonna go right. That's it, done. And then you just get. And he's off. He's off again. Yeah. Well, he's timing me out. Just watching him. <laughs> them fans. I can't. The, the light in the fountains, the lasers. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Shall we get to the end of that? There we go. Have, have no, we can stop. Now, Exit. Out. And we're back. So, and the headphones hope, are off. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. So now we will carry on with. Well, actually, have you got anything? Any feedback from it? I think to me, for me, when we heard about it, I was interested. I've seen the show before the original movie show one. Yeah. Um, as you know, I'm not a fan of that dance thing. I can't even remember its name. Sorry, oh, people. Academy Villains. That's it. Um, if you want, we'll do a video on them, and you may not like our critique. They're not rubbish. They're, they're stars, but it's not my sort of thing. Anyway, mm. so there was nothing really else to watch, you know, to take a little rest. Yeah. I went in there just for a rest, mate, and I'm not going to lie. I was blown away. I must have watched it three or four times when I was there last year. Yeah, I think we made an effort to watch it at least four times, I think. But it's one of those, the only problem was, I noticed, so is that scare zone that was in Central Park got killed when that show was on. Because you couldn't you couldn't hear anything in that scare zone except for that show. So that's the only critique I've got about it. But other than that, it's a fantastic show. And I wish it, I wish they had something like that every year. Well, I think it was coming back this year because they were testing, weren't yeah. they? And then obviously yeah. the Rona came along. They're like, they were saying it upset a few people, the planned demic. <laughs> well, we'll see how people react to that one. Oh, well. So what we'll do, we will cut this short now and we'll join you on the other side. And welcome back to the final part of the Epic Florida podcast. I think we've got, uh, you've just had a bit of a break with that video um, which is all out of sync for you for us but for you guys it should be seamless fingers crossed uh, so just one last thing um, which we got news of last week uh, which we're excited about but obviously we won't be able to go and do it Howler Scream is going ahead at oh, hell yeah. so if you're in Florida you can get some form of Halloween fix over at Bush Gardens, Howl of Screen. Uh, as, as it stands, I'm going to just read off the top at the moment. It says, exposure to COVID-19 is an inherent risk in all public locations where people are present. We cannot guarantee you will not be exposed during your visit. So straight off, they're letting you know they're going ahead while this pandemic's going ahead and you possibly could contract COVID-19 while you're there. So your choice. <laughs> Do you think they're going ahead because Sea World and them financially are doing terrible, and this yeah. is a way to recruit? Yeah, Sea World and, and yeah, and the, the, end on. yeah, the Sea the Sea World company in the Bush Gardens, whatever the, the corporate company is, they are struggling big time, so they need to. But what they're doing is running from weekends from the twenty fifth to the first of November, twenty fifth of September to the first of November. You must. Reserve online. There's a big must. You must reserve online as you won't be getting in. 
Uh, they've got some event hours. Uh, the hours are Friday and Saturday. It's 7 till 12. And Sunday, 7 till 11. So it's not as long as it usually is. Uh, it's usually during the week sometimes as well. But this time it's just weekends on select nights. So... 18, oh, here we go, 18 horrifying nights at Bush Gardens, Tampa. So. I'll tell you what, though, it's going to be great to see the YouTube videos, see how a good crowd it is. Will they enforce the mask properly? Um, it's only going to be scare zones, though, isn't it? Am I correct? I believe so. Uh, they've said there's no houses. It's just going to be scare zones uh, and shows on stages, I believe. Uh, things to do. But also, you've also don't forget, you've still got all the rides as well. So you can do the rides in the dark, yeah, which I'm not be funny, but uh, get on the rides. Unfortunately, we won't be able to go on Gwazi because that's not now. That's not opening now till next year. I believe that's because like that. financial problems. Well, maybe. Well, I I believe they have started testing again, so they might open up. I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go onto the tickets to give you a rough idea of prices. Uh, prices start from twenty nine ninety nine a night. Does that wow. before tax? Yeah, it's before tax, I think. We're talking about 35 uh, uh, Then you... Most nights, it's going up to 35 to 40. If you're one of those who wants to go for Halloween horror, Halloween night, which this year's on a Saturday, uh, it's 44 99 if you buy online. Uh, I don't think they've got any frequent tickets. No, I don't think they have. Uh, and it says protective face coverings will be required. So, yes, that's what I thought. Um, the problem is how they're going to enforce it because it's. I think it's. Is there a how? Have they said how many people are allowed in at a time? Uh, it says book now capacity is limited. That's all it says. So, really need to give a number. Mm, I don't think they'll give out a number because I don't think they want to be that type of firm, but it does also stay in uh, in our asterisks event dates and details subject to change and or cancellation without prior notice so pretty so, much if COVID goes yeah. skyrocketing for a period of it goodbye yeah so but I do believe the cases are dropping a little bit so, I'm confused out there with the cases mate I'm not gonna lie I've seen things on YouTube that don't make well, sense well I'm I'm glad you said that because I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to uh, call. I'm, I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm going to call Florida out on this. Um, we watched the video. You watched it yourself as I as well yeah. from a, a well-known YouTuber. Uh, we won't mention the name just in it's case. A print, right? Sorry, it's, it's a, a print. Yours. It's a print, <laughs> but we won't mention any names. No. Uh, he went for a test the other day because uh, he was feeling unwell, and I saw a flaw in the test system straight away. Because he had the swab test, then he had a blood test, and he had a antibody test. He came back negative on all three, but what if he was positive? Is that three positive cases? Well, it's the antibody one will confuse me. He's had tests before, and he's never had it, right? Correct? Yeah. yeah. So why was he going for the antibody test anyway? Surely you should go for the other two tests first. To see no, because got... that's I think that's the system, is you have all three tests. You have the swab test, then you have the blood test while you're in the car, and then you drive through and have the antibody test. Because the antibody test is the one you get the results straight away. So I'm calling, if you get pest, tested positive on one, you're going to get tested on all three. Do you so know that's how three positive cases. I want to be careful. Do they do it differently in the UK? Do we know? We don't have an antibody test in the UK. We just have a coronavirus test. Well, oh, the, by the way, people, a coronavirus test is not a COVID nineteen test. It is mm. a common cold as well. So when you get it done, please, when you get your results, make sure you know what your results are for. Yeah, make sure it's co you're getting a uh, positive for COVID nineteen and not coronavirus. Because you can have a common cold and you've got the coronavirus. Doesn't you've got self it up as well? I believe, I, I, I have done seen some reports that hair fever can cause false positives, but you hear a lot well, of things. But when you do your own research, it's entirely your, your, your decision. Just say something. What you say. It's probably going to be loads of people um, going to be upset with you and me right now. Because no one else yeah. wants to talk about COVID. 
it's me personally it's out there we're not trying to ignore it we're not training people what to do we're just saying what we've seen that's the difference yeah. we're not the thing is ignore it. it's part of our lives and yeah. it seems strange that no one is talking about it yeah like i said we're not there's a virus out there it is killing people we're not denying that but we're going to have to learn with, to live with it or yeah. if they do find a vaccine they find a vaccine oh. they might not do because it's one. well russia have i believe but uh, yeah. so it's it's something we've got to live with so we just need to get on with life if if you catch it stay away from people stay in your house if you need hospitalization go to the hospital get yourself treated it looks like the deaths are coming down because people are being treated properly now so i personally feel confident enough if i catch it i will be fine i may have already had it i don't know I'm not we don't have an antibody test in the uk so I would say as well, do you remember when we did More Land Now with Craig? Can you remember the few episodes I just had the worst cough on the planet? Yeah. So. That, could have, that could have been it. I've had no testing people. I'm no. hoping that was it because if that's the worst I got it, I was happy just to have a cough. As I said, the people who've had it worse, I do feel for anybody, if anybody in your friends or families unfortunately have lost their lives over it as well because we may joke and we may have our opinion but at the same time. We know not... We know it's definitely there, and yeah. not everyone's safe, so we're not going to be foolish and saying to everybody, don't worry about it, get on with your lives. But if you're confident enough to do stuff, I don't agree with people being negative to you. I believe that everyone has their own opinion. If you don't agree, fair enough, but sometimes a bit to score, just ignore each other. And that's not that's not just on bloody Corona. That's on politics. Every in the last five years, I've seen a horrible change in this world on social media when people attack each other for their beliefs. And I don't agree with it personally. Um, and this is not a dig at anyone. If someone's listening, it's not. I promise you, this is my opinion. It's always been my opinion. Let people have their own opinions. Um, you can disagree and talk about it. Um, but don't get don't get personal. Uh, I've been guilty of that sometimes. I'm fortunate. I'm learning from my mistakes. Um, just you know, if we all have different opinions, we can still be friends. Simon thinks it's tea at dinner time, and I know it's dinner, but we're still mates. Well, yeah, it's still tea time, but we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like like Phil said, everyone's entitled to an opinion. Just don't shove your opinion in someone else's face. It's as simple as that. If you've got an opinion, say it by all means, but just don't throw it back in someone's face if their opinion doesn't agree with yours. Be nice to everyone, enjoy yourself, and be happy. So if you've been watching this, you can see behind us. Uh, we have the socials for Twitter and Instagram, which is TEF Pod. Uh, the email, I can't see the email. Uh, okay. can't it's TEF Pod at gmail.com. Yeah, uh, do us a lovely favour and subscribe to this on your podcast app of choice, whatever you're listening to. If you're on YouTube, click that subscribe button, uh, li hit the little ding ding bell. I'm not going to say notification, I'm saying ding ding. It's a ding ding. Hey, on social media, guys, share the YouTube and the podcast. Also, yeah. while we're at it, check out our other shows, Rant Football, Ghost Aliens Beyond, and Simon Says Pod. Simon yep. says pod and go saying beyond are just podcasts. Ram football is a Premier League football show. What will be back for September? So all the other ones there, but everything's going to go now. We've decided, especially from the shows, what yeah. on YouTube all go all going to go on the Epic Shows page. So yep. they're all going to be yep. together in their own folders though, so they're not all mixed up. Well, if you're watching this, you're on the right channel, so yep. you're going to get everything on there. Um, the audio will be on the podcast platforms, but we might be able to find a way of putting it on here. I don't know yet. We're just we're still learning. We've started up this. We've started. To, we've, we've took a big chunk of stuff that we've said we want to do a little bit. And Phil is showing his Twizzlers, but he can't do anything because he's not making any noise. You need to say something else so that you flip onto you. Sorry, people. <laughs> There's the red blinds. And there's my straw rainbow ones. What's obviously looking the wrong way around because I can get rid of it. But anybody's listening in America, this man loves Twizzlers. 
if you want to send them over to me, I will gracefully have them. I love Twizzlers. Yeah, well, I've found a new sweet as well. The Tootsie Roll Fruit Chews. Yes, I love so them. I've got some if, from... if either of them want to sponsor the show, I know we're very yeah. small, but we're here for you. In your yeah. hard times in America, we're here for you people. And obviously, because we can't get to Florida at the moment, there are some vlogs. Well, a vlog up to now. There will be some more. I uh, promise you there will be some more. But there's a vlog on the channel at the moment from Alton Towers. Because yours truly went to Alton Towers during a pandemic. <laughs> Always support your local theme park. And there could be some in September. Plus my fingers, we'll people. <laughs> so with that, guys, I'd like to thank you for listening, watching, subscribing, and doing all the wonderful stuff. I'd like to thank Phil for joining me again. One more thing. People, if you're listening to Apple Podcasts, please give us a review and five stars. Yes, definitely. Uh, that would definitely help to grow. Uh, don't do that with your eyes. Uh, that would definitely help to grow the podcast. So um, with that, I'm going to say thank you for listening again. Thank you for watching. And do what Phil's doing. Wear your mask and enjoy yourself. See you later, all. <laughs>